Hey guys, this is the fourth in my tutorial series about the fundamentals of art. As before, to better help understand this video, I recommend seeing the previous ones first. This tutorial is all about form. Forms have length, width, and height. They also take up space. Forms are implied. Since we can't actually have 3D objects on a 2D surface, we have to create the illusion of depth. To do this, we use light and shadow, aka value, which if you've watched the previous video, you know all about value by now. As with shapes, they are geometric and organic forms. Let's take one of these forms and work on it together. To keep things simple, let's start with a circle. I'm using the cross-hatching technique I described in the previous video. Before I start, I need to identify a light source. I'm going to say it's in the top left corner. Knowing that that is the brightest spot, I know that that is where my highlights will go. I also know that as light goes around the sphere, it reaches less and less, making the areas away from that light source darker, creating shadows. Since the sphere is curved, the values will need to reflect that as well, to help aid in the illusion of it being 3D object. The shadows can be broken down into sections. The highlight, the brightest spot, the core shadow, the darkest area, more towards the center. The midtone, the shadows between the highlight and core shadow. The cast shadow, the shadow the sphere creates. And finally, the reflected light, which is the light that bounces off the surface the sphere is on, hitting the back end of the sphere. It's time to take out your handy dandy flashlight again. This time, we're not only looking at the values in a general sense of highlights and shadows, but also how they all work together to build up an object's form. Try looking at a variety of different shaped objects, a box, a book, a pencil, your arm, your food, anything and everything. Try combining everything you've learned thus far and put it into action. Find and choose an object of your choice. Probably best to start off with something simple like a cup or a bowl. Break down the object into a shape or two. Sketch out the shapes and map out the contour lines. Use a flashlight or lamp to create a still life and fill in the shape with the appropriate values. Try it a few times in a row, then change it up. Turn the objects upside down or move the light source. Keep playing around and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.